the toe pick out of it called a toe loop. The skater moves bound backwards on the ice on one foot, uses the free leg stretched behind him to pole vault himself. He picks it into the ice and pole vaults himself up into the air for four revolutions. That's what makes it so interesting. You can see it cleanly. Everywhere else in the sport, you have to sort of do things subjectively, like how well do they interpret the music or how interesting is the choreography. This you can count, and that's what makes it exciting. And here, here it is. What if he's going to do it? Well, he completed it. It looked to me as though there was a slight two-footed landing, and of course the tan touchdown. Well, moments ago in his warm-up, Scott, Brian looked like he was really hitting his quad. And it looked so easy. It looked just like a triple. One, two, three, four revolutions. Came out really clean. I just hope he didn't leave it in the warm-up. Oh, and he came up about a quarter turn short and couldn't hang on to it. Now, he spent last year really developing his technical with bringing in the quad and just at the clock developing the jump, which is... Yeah. An awful lot of attention has been focused on Brian's quadruple jump. He's landed it many times in practice, four revolutions in the air, but nobody's ever completed a quad in competition, including Brian, after several attempts. Finally got to the point that he was, was, well, he was getting frustrated. It seemed that the media people were concentrating only on the quad rather than on the complete skater. So this year he's concentrated on his choreography. No quad, and the program is beautiful. And skating fans remember Brian Boitano's attempt at last year's World Championships. And for an update, this is what it looked like three days ago. This ain't easy, folks. Now he said if he was going for his quad, this, is the, this would be where he would put it. Brian Boitano's quadruple attempt. And he two foots it and steps out of it. Here's another look at the quadruple attempt. You see he reaches back with his left foot, he rotates once, twice, three, and about three quarters. He didn't quite get all the way around, that's why he couldn't hold the landing. Here's the quad. Look the kind of way for they get it, until they get around four times. As you can see, it was certainly not as successful as the one that Kurt Browning but I can't imagine anyone having the nerve to, to put it in in a world competition, particularly when the title is in the, in the balance here. The jumping ability is, is simply astounding, and the quality that I mentioned about, again, a repeat of the quad, but the quality that I mentioned about stretching the free leg and, and, and landing with extensions, is simply uh, a joy to the eye, and you do not see it on the lower levels.